Hey everyone, welcome to our channel, Rebecca Stu and the crew. It is now Friday, so that means it's time for our What's New This Week at the Dollar Tree video, and this will be for the week of March the 4th, 2022. So let's go shopping. We went to five stores this week in the DFW area, and we'll start with apparel and accessories. Not a whole lot new in this area this week. They did have these small change purses, which have a zipper at the top, and they had a few that had the unicorns, llamas, and sloths on rainbows. There are four different ones in all that I found, but then they also have these larger cloth cosmetic type bags. The all white one here says, do what you love. It has a gold zipper. And they've got the um, rainbow kind of marbled pastels um, that say my happy place, complicated, and then the blue one that says super cute. I really like those a lot. And you can see all four in this set here. Also, they had some more of the gold toe socks. These are the ones that go about mid shin, some more of the cushy foot flats to go. These are in the cheetah print. They actually have like a furry soft um, cover on the outside and now over into the arts and crafts. They did have quite a few new items here this week. A lot of their um, springtime floral like the beads. They also had these extra large artificial ferns. They come in these extra large bags and you actually get four pieces in each bag which I thought was a pretty good bargain for how large they were. Also, they had a bunch of their springtime greenery that has like that flocked white kind of powdery material on it. They had the set with the white and green and yellow flowers and the lavender. A bunch of springtime flowers and a whole bunch of different varieties. And they keep restocking these each week with new flowers. They also had a bunch of these Crafter Square fabric pieces and the light blue, gray, pink, lime green, dark green, two different colors of blue, black, red, beige and white then they had these elastic bands you get 10.9 yards in gray white red orange pink and blue this is the first time i've seen elastic out at the dollar tree they also had a few other um pretty impressive uh sewing items this week which was nice to see that they're starting to get some items in for people who like to sew for crafting i even found these crafters square um sewing projects by Simplicity and it was made for crafter square. You can make a large tote bag. They also had the Easy Apron Sewing Project and you can see this here. It's got pockets and everything on the front of it for that pattern and on the back it tells you all the supplies you'll need and all the size of material and things to make the project. They even had a little memory bear you could make. Then they had these bamboo rings. You get two sizes. Now these aren't like your traditional embroidery hoops because they don't have the little bolt at the top to tighten it. They did have these embroidery needle um, it's called a bundle, but it's basically a pin cushion. It has an elastic band on the back, so you can slide that over your hand to hold it. And they had two blue, one floral, one polka dot, and then two pink. One was floral, and then also the white and pink polka dots. Then they had these Crafter Square iridescent patches. You get two five by five inch patches uh, that are iron on. They even show them on the back of like a car. So I'm not sure how all you could use these, but I know there's directions on the back. And then they had the glitter patches. You get two of the pink glitter. They also had this 18 count pack of sewing needles. It was like an assorted pack. They had just your regular traditional self-threading needles and then the curved needles or the tapestry needles at the top. Then the 70 count piece of sewing needles had a whole bunch of different varieties of needles and these are not the self-threading version. I also found a bunch of these um, DIY um, gemstone stickers. They had them in the pearls and colorful different sizes. Some of them that were the diamond shape. And they come with an adhesive in the packaging. They also had these hearts. Um, but like I said, they also come with the adhesive in the packaging. So they're not self-stick like a lot of the stickers are at the Dollar Tree. So this is just a different version. And they're hanging on those plastic strips down in the office supply aisle. For the baby items this week, not a whole lot new there. They did have some new ribbon. The wider ribbon has the wires in it. They had the blue with the white polka dots. I love the ones with the little elephants on them. I think that is just so cute. And then and of course, you can get them in the pink version as well. And these are about an inch and a half, 
not quite two inch ribbon with the wire down the sides. They also had their um, burlap style ribbon in pink and blue and they had it over by the baby aisle. Sometimes they have it over um, with the gardening section. They have green and brown, but it was just pink and blue. Or you can get the smaller ribbon. They say things like twinkle, twinkle, little star. Over in the health and beauty aisle this week for cosmetics, they basically had a bunch of eyeshadow palettes and they had this one. It was called Night Out by LA Colors and you get six different colors with the applicator. This one here is called Fling. As you can see, it's got some brighter colors like greens and purple. Then you have the Lucky. This one has a bunch of different shades of green. You can get this one, it's called Playful. Those are a little bit more of your neutral tones. And this one was called Hot. And again, that one was mostly neutral tones with a little bit more of a shimmer. Then they had this three count pack of the diamond uh, nail buffing set. You get three different files and they're all labeled which one does which. Or you can get the blender sponges. They come in these little pop-up boxes sitting down on the aisle. And it's like a marbled looking kind of um, a blender. They have one in like a mint green, pink, yellow, and purple and white. Also, their makeup removing cloths. You can get them in the circular or the rectangular ones. They had these out around Christmas time. You get two in each pack for $1.25. Then I found these really cute um, makeup applicators. They come in these um, like push-up popsicle style containers. And they are by the Sassy Chic brand. You get five in each pack. And should you try to find them online, they're called the Blend Sponge Popsicles. They also had the flower brand um, foundation. This is the Erase Everything in the U4 was the shade. Also, Lip Smackers, they have the best flavor forever bubble tea restocked as a lip balm. And over in hair care, they had a few new items there, like the scrunchies by the Scrunchy brand. You get the one solid scrunchie. They had a bunch of solid colors. You get the elastics with the um, animal print and blue, pink, and um, purple. Or you can get these fashion clips, which I just fell in love with. So it's a gold bobby pin that has a twist to it with the little furry pom-pom at the top. They were so cute. Also, the butterfly clips, you can get four in a pack. Some of them have glitter on them, um, but these are over by more of like the Easter items, the bonnets, and the bags. You could also get the butterfly scrunchies in blue. I believe it was like a soft yellow and pink. For pharmacy and personal care this week, they had a bunch of new um Clean Feet, Spa Subscription Exfoliating uh, Foot Booties. They have the moisturizing versions. You get one in each pack of those. The three pack here was called the Mint Exfoliating Foot Treatment. And then they had a bunch of different face masks. So these are fresh food for skin. Uh, they had a whole bunch of different ones. It just says it's a facial sheet mask. They have one for like brightening, firming, um, pretty much you name it. If you need it for your skin, they've got it in all of these different versions. They also had the Bolero products with the rose water and like retinol, the aloe with the high Laronic acid, pineapple and probiotics. There's a whole bunch of different versions there for any type of skin. So I encourage you to check those out as well. They even had some of the Garnier brand. Then the LOL bath bombs. They had those over in a cardboard cutout down at the end of an aisle. They had like Jojo Siwa, Barbie. They had still uh, some of like Frosty the Snowman, the Troll Dolls, Paw Patrol, and Frozen. You could get the um, bath bombs, which were the color changing, or you can get um, like Mickey Mouse and things like that. So I think those were left over from Christmas and they hadn't put them out yet just because of the late shipments. They also had these new bath bombs with the unicorn, which is cotton candy. They had like a dinosaur and then the Crayola bathtub finger paints. I also found the cinnamon swirl um, limited edition bar soap and the peach and pomegranate bubble bath, which I think would just smell amazing. And that was by the Lucky brand. Then they had these small containers of the Vaseline Cocoa Glow. Um, those are over by like the Ponds and the Dove Care lotions. And now we'll move over into the fun finds. These are items I found throughout the store that kind of don't fit into a particular category. They have these as seen on TV shell packs. They're called a comfortable cold turtle. You put them in a mask, you get six of them. They're washable. Also, they have these really cute sponges on a stick that look like large lollipops. You can get them in the blue, pink, and purple. I just thought those were so cute. So here's a view of them from the side. 
Also, they had their fancy pineapple on a pen, the large pom-pom stylo pen with black ink. They had some new cups for parties. I love this Minnie Mouse cup. I love the color scheme. And they also put out the Coco Melon Cup. It has all of the characters along the side, which I know little kids would just absolutely love. And they had these small list pads that say coffee, please. They look like miniature coffee cups and they do have a magnetic strip on the back so that you can hang them on the refrigerator. So as you can see, each coffee cup has like a trim around the outside, like a design for the cup and a different color lid with a saying over in home decor this week. They had the miniature succulents with the um, planters that have different sayings on them. The blue one says blossom and the purple says dream. And then they had these vases back in. These are the smaller vases, which they had out over the summer. There's four different versions, as you can see here, all different color schemes. And just depends on which one you get where the white is within the color scheme. Also, they had these large vases in a dark rose colored pink. They're actually really pretty. I wish the camera would show the true color color as pretty as they were. They're about 10 inches tall. Over in the housewares and home maintenance area, they had their um, hooks for the wall in brown this week. It comes with the hardware on the back so that you can hang them so you don't have to look for the right size hardware. Also, the home collection three compartment organizer. This was new. I've seen lots of different organizers at Dollar Tree for like makeup and things like that, but I've never seen this particular one. So I'm excited to see if they'll get other ones as well um, to help organize different parts of your home. They have these clean drain sticks. You can get them in the fresh scent or lemon scent. The lemon are yellow in color and it says you just pop them down in the drain and it helps to clear clogs from starting. They also have some new um, selfie lights that you can plug into your phone. It says you can charge it with the micro USB cable and you can get it in a blue, pink, white, or black light. I found these up by the registers. Then they had their Glade brand uh, air freshener. This was the Stay Cool Watermelon. I love these large plastic bins that they put out every year around springtime and their spring colors. I just think they're so pretty and a great bargain for $1.25. They even have the floral cutout bins and then to match those same color schemed items in the kitchen and pantry aisle, they have these extra large um, water jugs. They had two sizes this week. The really large ones, were, I think they were a gallon size and then they also had half gallon. As you can see, they also put back out more of the snack containers. They're the two-sided snack containers, which I just love, but those are not dishwasher safe. Just be mindful of that. And then you can get, a, again, the um, bowls with the two-tone lids and all of those same color schemes. For some reason, they put out a two-pack. Last week, I showed you they had a three-pack. They still have that out. So I don't know why. You would get the two pack for the same price point. And then of course they've got their yogurt style cups and these four piece cutleries, which are new. It's a um, four piece cutlery piece with the blue handle and you get all the pieces there for $1.25. They also had some purple Murado pearls. They're about a silvery purple kind of color pearls for cakes. There are sprinkles. They had the rainbow sprinkles and also the dark chocolate. And those are all by the same maker. They had some new snack cakes like the Oreo Cakesters and the Nutter Butter Cakesters or these cookies, which are similar to a Girl Scout cookie. They even had some snor s'mores, toast them, pop up cakes. So over in the office supplies, they had a bunch of their storage and organizing bins for the home office. They put out their pencil cases, which are the aluminum pencil cases. We've seen these before. They have the same design on the lid. They do get different ones on occasion, but they don't carry these all the time. And I know they sell out pretty quickly when they do carry them. So I do like to show them when they are restocked. I really like the pink one here with the butterflies. And then I think this one's my personal favorite with the B positive and the B in the corner. I really like this one a lot. They have, of course, the different like color schemes with the dinosaurs, the orange and red. This one says be roaresome. And then they have the one with the little greenery on it with a two-tone green. I really like this one a lot as well. Last week, I showed you guys they had these new zipper pouches for pencils. They had these two colors in. And this week, I found two more. And those are by the Jot brand. 
They also had some new miniature uh, notebooks with the large spiral down the side. And these match a lot of the um, clipboards that they have out right now. I showed those a few weeks ago. And again, they've got the Be Positive, which also matches the pencil case. And here's a look of the inside, their colored lined paper. They had some new puzzle books as to fill in numbers and words. They don't get these often, but what they do, I do like to pick those up. Also, they had the hands-on math um, project books. They had the still life art book for kids. You could get one for um, like backyard nature. It's like a science version. And so they had four in all. Also, they had their label maker. I saw these last week. They have them in two different colors. I still haven't seen the tape that you put in them. I don't know if they sell it, but I am looking for that. Over in the party supplies this week, they had some new banners with the unicorns, clouds, and rainbows. And these are made out of felt. It already comes with the string attached. They had some new extra large bows that have a shimmery, kind of like glitter paper. It's not actually like glitter. It has more of like a shimmer to it. If that makes sense, it's a real fine glitter. As you can see, it shows up the best on the red one here. They also had a bunch of their extra large bows for gifts. And then you can get these new packs with the six pack of regular um, size bows and a bunch of different color schemes for the $1.25. They had a bunch of different versions hanging over by the gift bags. And as you can see, they have lots of different color schemes in each pack here. They had some new birthday wrap. I love this blue and white marbled roll of paper. I just thought that was really pretty. And then they've got their trifle containers in the clear white. They've had them out in a bunch of different colors the last few weeks. So it was nice to see they actually stocked the white ones as well. For pet care, not a whole lot new there this week, but they did put out some of the bandanas. They have the large and the small and um, the small one fits my dog. He's a Pomeranian, but he's about 15 pounds. I actually got this one for him with the blue and orange plaid. I thought that was so cute. I love the pink and black cheetah print. And they have their camo as well as the buffalo plaid. Over in seasonal items, we'll start with some of the gardening items. I found these new um, markers for the garden for um, different herbs. They had cilantro and parsley. You could also get one that says basil. They had mint and thyme. Each one's painted a different color. They're kind of like a ceramic feel to them, but I'm not really sure if they were glass. And they come on this large spiral white hook that is about a little bit over a foot tall. Maybe it's about 18 inches tall, but I thought they were just gorgeous for $1.25. I think those would look so pretty in an herb garden. And then again, they had some more of the LED solar powered lights with the butterflies inside that look like they're flying in a jar. They had a whole bunch of different colors of the butterflies. Also, these garden signs, which I've been showing you guys the last two weeks, they now have like a stepping stone. They have the gray one that says sing in your garden each morning. The green one says we're meant to be. And then they had a rose-colored pink one. It says, grow through what you go through. And then the yellow one, it says, don't stop believing. I love that pinkish purple color one. I think that was definitely my favorite. They have some new bowls out for uh, Easter. I just think these are so cute. I love the style of them with the rippled sides. They have the carrots, one that says Happy Easter, and another one that has Easter bunnies on it. As you can see, it's just a clear bowl. They're large. They're kind of thin. You can't wash them in the dishwasher or anything like that. They are washed by hand only, but I just thought these were absolutely adorable. Then they had these silicone pans. It's a large bunny head. They have them in three different colors. We did purchase one. My daughter actually made large gummies using Jello, and they turned out perfectly. They came right out. It makes a really cute face on the... Um, pattern there so absolutely adorable highly recommend these and you can use them in the oven as far as i read online they have some miniature spatulas with different uh, characters and sayings on the front for easter time they come in a two pack i just love the one with the buffalo plaid easter bunny here's all four so you get two in each pack they had a bunch of the plaid straws. These are the paper straws. Also some mason jar cups with the gnomes in blue. 
and then the green one has a little chick on it and the pink one here has the Easter bunny head. It comes with the straw and the lid. And again, I don't think these are dishwasher safe. At least the ones in the past have not been. They're washed by hand only. These are little plastic containers. You get two for $1.25. You have the little truck one, the um, bunny that says Hoppy Easter. And they're just a two-pack tub. It has like a scalloped edge around the top. They also have one with Easter eggs all over it. Then they have their headbands with the Easter bunny ears in pink and in blue. And then the band itself is covered in like a furry type material. So it's nice and soft. They brought back these little bags with the bunny faces. You get four for $1.25 or the larger bags with the decorative ears, the plaid. Um, you get two of those for $1.25. They also have a pack that has the polka dots. Then they had their sports themed baskets and soccer, football, and uh, basketball. They had some unicorn baskets in white, purple, and pink. And then larger pails that were more like a bucket kind of size, a little bit larger. Also, they had the gnomes in that one. It's a pink uh, plastic basket. And then they look like they have like almost like Easter bunny ears at the top. They had an orange one, a green one. They had a few baskets that look like a uh, mermaid. And then they brought back the cloth baskets that have the bunny ears and the bunny faces. They sell almost an identical product at Hobby Lobby every year. I don't know why people would pay more for it, but they do. Also, they have these large bins that say bunny trail. I think these are so cute. I think the bunny trail one was definitely my favorite. They also have it in pink. It says shake your cotton tail. And then the yellow says bunny kisses and Easter wishes. And the purple one says Easter's on its way. And here are all four of them lined up together. Also, they have the um, cloth baskets with the bunnies on the front with the cotton tail. Or you can get these smaller baskets in a two pack. And they had two sets of them in two different colors. Also, the metal pails. These are the smaller aluminum sized ones. I love the one with the bunny face on the front. That one's definitely my favorite one. But I do like the plaid one. I think that one's really pretty as well with the blue handle and one that says Hoppy Easter. They have their large garden stakes that look like a carrot. They had these out last year. And then the new garden gnome. So these are aluminum uh, stakes for the yard. Also some coloring and drawing sets and painting kits with the peeps. Um, like this 16 count piece here. It's got the little... Um, paints on it you just have to wet them they have some other kits with some markers and then they had these tie-dye looking bunnies it was like pink orange and blue and then the other one had more of like pinks and purples in it so they come in like two different color schemes there a bunch of new wired ribbon they had the gingham print some um kind of like burlap look a bunch of them with a bunch of like pastel bunnies and flowers they had the trucks with the um different carrots in the back i really like the orange uh, burlap ribbon that they have out and then this larger one with the carrots on it and the roses I think is really pretty as well and that is the larger wired ribbon then I found these wooded bead um, garland with the jute twine at the end it also has like a little tag and wood it has like a bunny a peep on the end so these ones are like yellow and blue I believe they also had one that had a carrot on the end and it was orange and green it's a pretty good bargain for $1.25. So wood beads can kind of be expensive if you're buying them at another store to create those. They also had these extra large carrots. They had these out last year. They're about a good five or six inches tall. They're pretty big. You get two of them. They had some felt stickers that look like Easter eggs. You get six in that pack. They had the um, felt bunny stickers in the pink and blue. Then you get the larger bunnies. It's like the full body, not just the bunny head. They had some carrots which I think were really cute. I like the carrots a lot. The extra large Easter foam Easter eggs that you can hang outside and some pom-pom decoration. It's on a long like string. So you can put uh, like tassels on different uh, baskets and things like that. And they had those in four different colors. I can't remember how much you get in each of those rolls. Then they had their uh, wreath frames. They had this new one, which is orange with the carrot. I thought that was really cute. Also, you can get the Easter bunny uh, head form. They have their basket bags to wrap your Easter baskets in. You get two in each pack. And these were not out of the box yet, but they also have some gnome felt Easter baskets. Then they had some confetti 
Um, they're all separated in the bags. I think you get like three packets and there's three different uh, styles of confetti in each pack. So you get like Easter eggs, bunnies, and chicks. Some of them say like Happy Easter and they're all in the different Easter colors. And those are mostly used for like table scatter and things like that for parties and whatnot. So that couple different packs of those out. Then they had the large snap together eggs in the sports themes. And then the larger eggs to just fill. Also, they had their candy, kind of like a gumball machine. They had a bunny head and an Easter egg. All the eggs are blue. The bunnies are in the pink base. They had some new DIY signs. One has an Easter egg cut out at the top. One has a bunny at the top. And they just come in the blue and the natural wood color. Also, they had some of the branches that are covered in glitter and some Easter glass gnomes. They had these out around Christmas time in different colors. Then they had their Peeps uh, lip balm. They had strawberry grape. They had vanilla and cotton candy. And these are over by the basket filling items where they have like all the coloring books. They have um, like sand buckets and things like that. A bunch of the Easter eggs. They also had these extra large plastic eggs that you can put together. that look like a bunny, the egg holders, and then some things that you can use to decorate your own Easter basket like a shark or a unicorn. I'm sorry, it's not a unicorn. It was an Easter bunny. I apologize. They have so many things with unicorns. I always <laughs> revert back to unicorns. As you can see, it's got all the pieces for an Easter bunny. Over in Toys, Games, and Entertainment, they had a bunch of these new balls that have the water in it. And it has glitter. So you shake it up. And when it lights up, it flashes. And then you can see the glitter floating around in the ball. So they have a bunch of those and a bunch of different colors of glitter. It only flashes for a few seconds. Also, they had these um, things where you pull the trigger and it shoots the ball up in the air and you can catch it. The plastic micro mini figures for Shrek. They had Shrek, the donkey. They even had Fiona. I think I showed a few of these last week, but they didn't have all the characters out. So I was able to find more of the characters for the movie this week. So I wanted to show you that they had all of the um, characters these little guys light up as well. They're like a stretch toy. And those are over just by like the novelty items where they have like the squishies and things like that. We're over by like slime, I think is where I found those. And they have a couple different uh, characters there. So now over in the Dollar Tree Plus, which is the 3 to $5 items, they had the large Easter signs. I know we've seen this one before. It's a plain chalkboard on the back that you can write on. And then these are $5, but they do have this new one here that says excited with the gnome on the front. Also, these large wreaths for $5 with the um, sea stars or uh, starfish on them, which I thought was really pretty. They had two of those, the large wreath with the lavender wrapped around it for 5 Also, the furry Easter baskets. They had a peep, a bunny, and a shark. Those were all $5 each. And then they had this large um, metal white truck it has sunflowers in the back you can get a blue one that has the patriotic stars in the back with um some things that kind of look like a firework kind of shooting out from the back and then they also had the red one here and it's got the bunting and little pretend watermelons in the back and those were all five dollars each they're a nice large truck for five dollars. I fell in love with these um, lanterns. You can get them in three different colors and they are solar powered, but it does have a spot at the bottom to put in a battery. And those were five dollars each. And there's the solar power portion of it at the top. And there's the measurements there so you guys can see how big they are. They also had these large doormats for the home. They're the weighted ones. And that's all for today's video. We do DIY craft videos that we post every single Thursday. This is what we made this week using items from the Dollar Tree. And of course, we post what's new each week at the Dollar Tree on Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll come back and check out some of our other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. That would really help us out a lot if you share our channel with others. 
and I appreciate you guys being here. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you guys back next week.